In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert from kilometers into meters and meters into kilometers. And I'm going to show you a shortcut way of how to quickly get the answer. And I'm also going to show you how to show your work in case if you're studying for an exam or something like that. So let's begin. You need to know that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. So this is the conversion factor. Now, if you divide both sides by 1,000, you'll get that 1 meter is equal to 0 0.001 kilometer. But that conversion factor is less common, just in case you were curious. Now, let's say if you have kilometers and you want to convert to meters, what should you do? The quick and simple way is to multiply by 1,000. Now, if you have meters and you want to convert it to kilometers, then you should divide by a thousand. So let's work on an example problem. Let's say we have 2.7 kilometers and we want to convert that into meters. What's the answer? Well, what we need to do is take 2.7 and multiply that by a thousand. And so the answer is going to be 2,700 meters. So that's the quick way of getting the answer. But now how do we show our work? What are the steps involved? What we need to do is start with the value that was given to us, which is 2.7. And then in the next fraction, we're going to put our conversion factor in it. Now, one part of this equation needs to go on one of these two sides of the fraction, and the other part will go on the other side. The question is, which one should go where? Notice that we have the unit kilometers on the top part of the fraction. So we need to put the same unit on the bottom. So therefore, this part of the conversion factor has to go on the bottom. The other part, the 1,000 meters, so we're going to put that on top. And so when we set it up in such a way, notice that the unit kilometers will cancel, leaving behind the unit meters. So we're going to multiply the numbers on top, 2.7 times 1,000, and that is going to give us 2700 meters. And so that's how we can show our work when converting from kilometers to meters. For the sake of practice, try this example. Convert 0.54 kilometers into meters. Feel free to pause the video. So let's start with what we know. And we know that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. And so these units will cancel and it's just going to be 0.54 times a thousand. So the answer is 540 meters. So that's how we can convert from kilometers into meters. But now how do we go from meters to kilometers? Let's say if we have 346 meters, how can we convert that to kilometers? Now, Recall that if we want to convert kilometers into meters, we had to multiply by a thousand. But in this case, we want to go from meters to kilometers. So we need to divide by a thousand. So let's take 346 and divide it by a thousand. When you're dividing by a thousand, you can move the decimal point three units to the left. And so this is going to be point three, four, six kilometers. So that's the answer for this example. But now let's just show the work. So always start with the value that you're given with. Now in the next fraction, we need to put the unit meters on the bottom. So keep in mind that one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. So we're going to put the 1,000 part on the bottom. The other part, the 1 kilometer, we're going to put that on the top part of the fraction. So because the 1,000 is on the bottom part of the second fraction, that tells us that we need to divide. So it's going to be 346 divided by 1,000, and we're going to get the same answer, 0.346 kilometers. So that's how you could show the work when converting from meters to kilometers.
So here's an example problem that you could try. Go ahead and convert 72 meters into kilometers. Try that. So let's start with what we know, 72 meters. Now we know that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So the setup is going to be the same as the last problem. So it's 72 divided by 1,000, or you can move the decimal point three units to the left. And so that's going to be 0 0.072 kilometers. And that is it for this video. So now you know how to interconvert. Um, let me say that again. Now you know how to convert between meters to kilometers and kilometers to meters. Sometimes uh, I get mixed up with my words, but that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching.